So from the last few video, we are talking about the coordinate system. In the last few videos, we have talked about Cartesian coordinates and spherical polar coordinates. So I hope all of you have understood the very basics of Cartesian and spherical polar coordinates. Today in this video, we are going to talk about cylindrical polar coordinates. So cylindrical polar coordinates instead of x, y, z, we will have r, phi and z. In it direction, in it vector direction r cap phi cap and z cap. So, we will start with our conventional Cartesian coordinate system then we will try to incorporate it with the cylindrical polar coordinate. So, let us first draw the Cartesian coordinates x, y, z as usual x cap, y cap and this is z cap and we have a point P as usual this is a point P whose coordinate is x, y, z this is in the Cartesian coordinates. So, to reach to that point, what do you do? We travel x amount along x cap direction, then we travel y amount along y cap direction and then finally, we travel along the z direction to reach to the point. So, we go along this direction and we get to, we get to reach the point. Now, in case of the cylindrical polar coordinate, x, y, z are replaced by r, phi and z or rho phi z sometimes it is called. So, here you will always remember that r is always in the perpendicular direction to z. So, if you this is three dimensional structure that is why it is appearing to be slanted, but this angle is 90 degree. Okay. So, you can consider a projection on the x y plane like this. This is a projection this is r this is r. Okay. And this projection is making an angle phi with this x axis and that is why in cylindrical polar coordinate we write if this angle is phi this is r then this becomes r cos phi ok that is why we write x is equals to r cos phi and you know the perpendicular component y this will be if this is r this is phi the perpendicular component is r sin phi that is why we write y is equals to r sin phi and z is z. The same z which you have in Cartesian that will apply that will be applied to cylindrical polar coordinate as well. So, z is z no change. Now, what about the direction of r phi and z that is very important to understand. As I told you r is perpendicular to z axis. So, direction of r will be along this direction. This will be let us say r cap. Okay, perpendicular to z cap direction and z cap is uh, similarly z cap is same as z direction. So, this is z cap. So, the angle between the z cap direction and the r cap direction is 90 degree and you can see phi is this angle. So, it is increasing in this direction. So, the direction of phi is along this curve direction. The angle between r cap, phi cap and z cap are all 90 degrees. So, I hope you got to under you got the concept of r, phi and z and in a similar manner if you take the cost product of r and phi with z. Uh, so, a relation like this exist r phi and z. r phi cost product between r and phi gives you z, phi and z gives you r, z and r gives you phi. Okay, so, in this way you can have this idea. Now, uh, as I told you, you need to understand the line element, area element and volume element in this cylindrical polar coordinate. So, let us talk about the line element in DL. So, line element DL means you will have an infinitesimal change in r, phi and z coordinates. Now, change in r is quite straightforward, it will be like this. So, dr. So, dr is a change along r cap direction. Now, when you are talking about the change in phi direction, you see phi is changing, but r is remaining fixed. Okay. So, this is r and phi has changed by some angle, let us say d phi. Okay. d phi is the angle which has been changed, but you see the r is remaining same. So, what is the total change? This is r d phi. Angle is equal to arc by radius. So, r d phi is the corresponding change along phi cap direction. 
And what about the uh, change in jet current direction? This is straight forward. D Z. Okay. So D Z is the change along jet current direction. So in this way, line element is written. Understanding the line element is very important because we can uh, incorporate this line element into finding uh, surface element and volume element. So uh, first we will calculate the volume element. Volume element as I told you, we have to multiply the changes along R phi and Z curve directions. The way you calculate, the way you calculate volume element in Cartesian, you take the product dx, dy and dz. Okay. So here also we will be taking the product dr, this r d phi and this dz. And that is why we write the volume element in cylindrical polar coordinate as r dr d phi dz. This is so straightforward and simple. So line and volume element is done. Let us now focus on the area element. That is quite important to understand. So let us talk about the area element. Okay, we will write the line element once again because that is necessary for us to make you understand the surface element. So we are writing the line element once again dr into r cap plus r d phi phi cap plus d z uh, z cap. This is the line element. Now to consider the surface element what we are doing we are taking a cylindrical object or uh, objects having cylindrical symmetry. So uh, let us say we have a cylindrical structure like this. Let us center the origin of the cylinder midpoint as the origin of the co uh, coordinate system. So this is x cap, this is your y cap direction and this is your z cap direction. So this is the origin you can say. Let us say the total length or height of the cylinder is L. So this phase if you consider this is situated at j d g equals to plus L by 2. This phase is situated at j d g equals to minus L by 2. Let us take the radius of this cylinder to be R. R is the radius of this cylinder. Now if you want to calculate the area elements, so once we will calculate the area element on the, on the curved surface. Another time we will try to calculate the area element at the flat surface. Okay. Now let us talk about the area element at the curved surface. So where R is equals to capital R okay. because at the surface what is R? R is equals to capital R because the R is the radius of the cylinder. So if you consider this area element what we will write dA. As I told you whatever variable or quantity is fixed that will be the direction of the area. So here what is fixed along the curved surface what is fixed? Capital R radius is fixed. So this term will not be there. The direction of the uh, area element will be R cap. So R d phi dz. So here R is equals to capital R d phi and dz and the direction will be R cap. This will be the direction uh, of area and this is the area element. Now let us talk about this element. So the direction is this R cap. For this the direction will be Z cap. So if you consider this Z is equals to L by 2 plane. So what is the area? Here you see R is not fixed. R is a variable. If you consider an area element here, here or here or here your r small r is varying. Okay. What is fixed here? On this plane z is fixed l by 2. Whatever point you take z is l by 2. So variation in dz is 0. So this term will not be there. Whatever is fixed that will be the direction. So z cap will be the direction of area and you just multiply dr into r d phi. dr into r d phi means r into dr into d phi and the direction will be z cap. So in this way we can find out the area direction in a cylindrical object. So I hope you have understood the concept of cylindrical polar coordinate.
I hope you find this video useful. If you have any doubt, confusion or queries, you can let me know in the comment section. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. This is all for this video. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Anacademy is India's largest online teaching learning platform. You can prepare for various competitive exams like CSR, NET, GET, JEST, IIT JAM, TFR. Especially if you are preparing for CSR, NET, Physical Science, you can join me on Anacademy Plus. I cover all the nine units of CSR, NET, Physical Science syllabus. My approach is especially I precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic. Then I discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis. Relevant problem based on the topic, including previous year questions, are discussed. Homework and assignments are also given. This is my profile and if you want to join my Anacademy Plus courses, you can enroll for this course. And if you are new to this Anacademy uh, platform, you can take Anacademy Plus subscription using our referral code Felix app. And Anacademy will give you 10% off. So take the Anacademy Plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal. Thank you.